So, ang uh, approach ko is wider, faster. Iwas ako yung mag-detail ako. Uh, kasi I lose time. At uh, pagka na nag-detail ako, uh, you lose the opportunity to hear other lectures, topics. So, what I do, I am going to fast track my lecture. And I don't want to go to detail. Uh, and I avoid to be on bug. Solve the uh, sample problems. One at a time, sample problem. This is all because and dito naman yung sample problem. I will be sharing to you later on itong uh, ginagamit natin materialist. I'll share it with you. So you'll have a copy what I have uh, for your reference and then uh, you'll have a copy also of the uh, video no? where you can it. So basically I am using Kofta. Kofta is a community board. Indian is the Malawang Kung pangalawang writer lang siya ng book Kaso lang yun yung madalas kong ma-remember Kaya yun yung pinabanggit ko Okay Okay, so dito ang basic uh, component ng ating refrigeration Ang simple vapor compression refrigeration systems ay wala iba ko yung ating uh, compressor okay, compressor and then uh, you have your evaporator here and then condenser here, condenser here and then you will have your exact expansion valve basically yung approach yung the baliktad ano? parang pa ganyan baliktad sa madalas kong uh, gawin uh, but anyway uh, so ito yung mechanism ng simple vapor compression cycle system, refrigeration system, yung ating compressor. Siyempre, nagpo-compress ang ating refrigerator from lower air temp sorry, from lower pressure to higher pressure. Yung condenser natin, yung gas state ng ating uh, refrigerator magpagunin niya into a liquid state. Uh, bago mangyari yun, kinakailangan ng heat rejection heat transfer to the uh, uh, air no? that touches the uh, pipe and then may mga extra nilalagay pa yan later on papag-aralan natin yan pero basically the expansion valve ay nag-reduce the pressure from higher pressure to lower pressure then yung ating evaporator na uh, walang iba kong hindi nagtatransfer yung liquid gas uh, liquid refrigerant transit to a gas state kasi nagkikiri na siya na heat okay para ma-analyze natin yung system na uh, refrigeration system kailangan po natin ng uh, pressure enthalpy chart or diagram so ito yung basic na itsura ng diagram natin So, itong diagram ng class ay uh, yung nakikita nyo sa ngayon. Mga academic lang ito. Academic purposes, we have this. However, uh, yung bawat refrigerant natin, may mga PM, may mga chart, no? pressure enthalpy chart, na kung saan ay... Uh, Uh, may mga value to. O 
Okay, so ito yung ating saturated liquid line. Mayroon tayong critical point. Ito yung ating saturated vapor line. Yung critical point natin, hindi natin alam kung siya ay saturated vapor o saturated liquid. Kaya tinawag nila <coughs> saturation line. Ah, sorry, critical point. So, sa kanang bahagi ng ating uh, saturation vapor line is open the heating region. Sa left side, ang ating uh, saturated liquid line is liquid no, or subcool. Okay. Siyempre, kapag ka ikaw ay sa mismong buhit, saturated liquid sabihin at 100% liquid. At sa pumasok ka na rito, sa mga dito, wet na yan. Wet or wet before region ang tawag ni Don Gupta kasi um, mix yan eh ng liquid and vapor. Kaya wet before region to here up to here, up to here. Pag touch mo rito, sa line na to, 100% vapor ka. Ang tawag dyan, saturated vapor. Pag mainit pa, sinuloy pa yung process, nandito ka na. Super heated. So, mindful of that, and take note of that, kasi yung ating refrigerant will undergo process. Kaya sa termo natin, thermodynamic quad, thermodynamic boom, Inaaral yung mga uh, state na yan. Yung enthalpy, yung pressure, tapos yung causes. Inaaral natin yung isentropic causes, bla bla bla, etc. Uh, because the application is here. So, maging uh, later on sa ating uh, multiple vapor, uh, multiple compressor, Compression system, kailangan din natin na uh, maakay doon yung fluid mechanics. No? Application actually ng mechanical engineering ito. So, what I have motivated you before, I have motivated you that refrigeration system is a part of air conditioning system. Kasi walang air conditioning system pag walang refrigeration system. So, combination yan. Kombine, uh, combination ng uh, air conditioning as a product, as an equipment. It's a combination of refrigeration na pinapalamig mo yung hangin which is kinagamit sa comfort. Uh, comfort cooling, comfort heating kapag ka ikaw ay nasa malamig na lugar o kaya sa Amerika, sa Canada, sa United Kingdom malamig ang lugar nila so they need a comfort heating so na hinihit mo yung environment yung hangin through a comfortable level or temperature and relative humidity wherein pag mainit naman yung region yung lugar kaya sa Pilipinas mainit na March month na so you will need an air conditioning most people will go to the mall pumuling sila kahit ko lang pera. Papalamig lang niya actually. Eventually, yung naiipon nilang pera na doon nasusin nila sa pagkain. Galaday, McDonald's, etc. Hindi magkukomplain sila kahit tumataba. On the other hand, yung some people will go to the river or to the sea and have fun. Kasi marunong lumangoy eventually. Ang kalimutan hindi ba na marunong lumangoy na accident yung iba na mamatay. So, those are the things that human being does because of the comfort. Okay, so, we as a mechanical engineers, our product is to be the comfort in terms of air conditioning comfort. So, part siya ng uh, malaking part na air conditioning ng refrigeration system. So, the other application, direct application sa ng no, refrigeration system is to preserve food. Hindi lang preserve food. No? Kahit na beverages, fruits, ito ng product para ibaba mo yung temperature level that is refrigeration. 
So it's very important. Ngayon, dito nag-uumpisa yan sa mga interview na to. TV diagram is very important. Okay, so last time, nung ating face-to-face, I will be share ko na sa inyo to. Uh, yung types of report. Maraming types ito. Isa-isahin natin ngayon. After this, mabibilisan natin uh, para nga matalakay natin itong topic na uh, importante. Okay, so let's proceed. Continue tayo. So dito tayo ngayon sa theoretical. Theoretical. Uh, theoretical vapor compression cycle with dry saturated vapor after compression plus ang uh, analysis niya is with regards to compression after compression kaya tinuro ko sa inyo yung ating style ito yung ating condenser ito yung ating evaporator evaporator to ito yung condenser okay ito yung ating compressor Mag-add ka ng work to compressor double use. So you will have pipe connecting from evaporator to your compressor. Then you will have pipe after your compressor going to condenser. From condenser, you go down to your expansion valve and then go back to your evaporator. Ngayon, naglalagay tayo ng numbering system para yung point of analysis natin na ipa-plot natin sa pH diagram. So, ang tawag tawag natin dito, one. Itong one na to, suction ng compressor. So, number one, point yan. Number two, yung discharge side ng compressor, paglabas ng compressor. Okay. Number three, paglalabas ng condenser, sino yung lumalabas, sino yung pumapasok dyan, yung refrigerant. So, refrigerant ang ating ina-analyze. Nakapos, paglalabas na expansion pump. Expansion pump. Dito, number 4. Bago pumasok ng ating evaporator. Diba? Diba? Sa contents, nagkakaroon tayo ng heat rejection, QR. Sa iba po rin ito, mayroong heat addition. Okay. Okay, so sabi dito, ito ay cycle na kung saan yung paglabas daw is grind paglabas ng compressor, yung point two mo, ito yung compressor natin diba, pumasok galing evaporator, we call it one point one paglabas, punta ang condenser, we call it point two so sabi niya yung paglabas daw is dry. So, pag sinabi dry, that is actually is referring that our refrigerant. Yung state na ating refrigerant paglabas ng compressor. Paglabas ng compressor is saturated vapor. Ito yung saturated vapor line ito yung saturated liquid line. Pagka nandyan ka, nakatax ka dyan mismo. That is saturated line. So, yan yung ginawa niya. In other words, yung one mo ay nasa loob ng saturated vapor line. So, anything, di ba ang sabi ko, anything inside wet, mix yan yan. 
vapor and liquid or liquid and vapor tawag dyan boom down wet vapor so yan yung kanya yung sura so minanalyze natin from 1 may P1 ka pressure 1 yan at add ka ng work dito sa compression mo WC inandar mo tumas yung pressure pumunta yung P2 pressure sa ito basta pressure yan yung 1 to 2 3 pero yung 1 to 2 ito siya asyntropic or constant entropic compression pero tumataas yung pressure di ba so si Gokta uh, dinrowin niya rin yung baka makalikta natin yung ano yung tatanungin din tayo sa PS diagram so naglagay din siya ng PS diagram para maintindihan din natin using PS diagram kung ano nangyayari pero later on hindi na natin gagamitin yan pag multi-stage mahirap na magpatagal no so from 1 ito naman yung point 1 sa PS diagram temperature naman yung kaya mo sumata dito D1 is equal to P4 ayan ito yung saturated liquid at P4 saturated liquid hindi lang niya binuo actually po yan ito lang yan ito lang ito ang ating PS diagram pag binuo ko temperature hindi lang binuo ng hipoktano kasi hindi naman kailangan ipakita ito pag ulo lang babayad ka pa ng ink para magagamitin ok so tumaas yung temperatura from P1 hanggang P2 pagkataas ng pressure from P1 to P2 tumataas din pala ang temperatura so dito natin makikita yung uh, voice law natin uh, voice law, charge law etc. yung relationship na to na pagka tumaas ang pressure, tumataas ang temperatura. Matik yun. How much? We don't know. Kaya ipa-plot mo ngayon sa PS diagram plus PS diagram so that you will determine how much will it increase. Okay, so ina-analyze lang natin. Ano ina-analyze natin? Yung nangyayari sa refrigerant or, uh, sa loob ng pipe na dumadaan ng proseso. Anong proseso? Constant enthalpy compression process. So dahil nangyari yan, karoon ka ng work na compressor. Ang work na compressor mo in terms of enthalpy ay enthalpy 2 minus enthalpy 1. Sir, bakit enthalpy 2 minus enthalpy 1? Kasi galing ka sa plot mo, 0 to. Kapag ka kumanan ka pumunta rito, di ba, enthalpy 2 yan. 0 to enthalpy 2. Galing dito, pumunta ang enthalpy 1. 0 din yan, pumunta ang enthalpy 1. So, enthalpy 2 minus enthalpy 1, ito yung difference nila. Ano tawag dyan? Dyan. Dyan yung work ng compressor. Equivalent yan sa work ng compressor na in-apply mo dyan. Yung electricity na convert into pressure at enthalpy. Kaya mo palang calculate ang work ng compressor in terms of enthalpy and mass of your refrigerant. Okay? Refrigerant na alin? Yung ang ating system na ina-analyze. Okay, ngayon, uh, pagdating na ngayon sa condenser, uh, paglabas mo ng compressor wet, yun yung ating, ah, sorry, paglabas, 100%, dry daw siya. So, how how to draw Ngayon sa condenser, 
ang potensya mo ay lumabas dito sa 3 no? yung ating refrigerant lumabas sa ng constant pressure from 2 to 3 so actually kung titignan mo sa PS diagram pero din yung temperature, temperature constant no? T2 is equal to T3 again so pero it does it mean na uh, yung process mo from high constant pressure no? later on makikita yung difference ngayon na ang pinapanalyze lang natin dito sa atin dito is actually ito favorito ng capacity or na compressor at saka yung ating uh, Q Q rejected tendency heat rejection in terms of inductive so ngayon uh, how do we get R for no refrigerating effect so refrigerating effect is equal to inductive 1 minus inductive 4 diba so saan yung inductive 1 ito yung inductive 1 yung ating inductive 1 inductive 1 ito yung ating inductive 4 ayan basically yung refrigerating effect is this one galing 4 inductive 4 dapat yung inductive 1 yung 4 papuntang 1 yung 4 mo and 4 yung point 1 bakit tumaas? kasi nga may nabsorb siyang heat tawag natin dito Q atin na tumaas yung intensity okay hindi yung temperature yung intensity tumaas nag-evaporate nagbago yung nagbago yung kanyang phase from liquid to gas ok, kaya ito ang tawag dyan vaporator ok so hindi siya sensible heat latent heat na mayayari dyan sa ating refrigerant change of phase liquid to vapor ok, so yan yung ating tinatanong dyan, yung itatanong paano kung walang force cell hindi din yung force yung form mo is equal to HF3 ibig sabihin na HF3 ito diba? sorry I need to erase this ayan HF HF3 is this one this is equal to H4 diba? yung line na to just the same ok kasi intalpi ito intalpi yan therefore pag walang availability o hindi even itong uh, ating uh, pore baka naman even diba so essentially you can get it diba ni ito 